God's Big Story, The Gift of Jesus. This week, The Wise Men. Hello, hello, I'm glad you're here. Let's sing a song together to praise our amazing God before we take a look at a true story from the Bible. Here we go. Let's move and sing to worship God. God's big story from the Bible. Hey there, friends. Welcome to Blackhawk Kids. I'm Heather, and I'm so grateful I get to spend time with you and talk about the true story of Christmas found in the Bible. And here comes Anthony. Merry Christmas, Heather. Merry Christmas, everyone. Merry Christmas. Anthony, are you getting excited for Christmas? Yes, I am super excited. And guess what? 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 Did you decorate your tree and bake some cookies and put lights up in your house and then build a snowman? That's pretty specific, but no, I brought you a gift. <gasps> open it, open it. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, it's beautiful. Ow. Is this a star for my Christmas tree? Actually, it'll help us tell the true story of Christmas from the Bible. Oh, really? I can't wait to see how it fits in. Let's get ready to hear part of God's big story from the book of Matthew, chapter 2, about some wise men called Magi. Watch this. The true story of Christmas began a very long time ago. God had promised that He would send a rescuer to make a way for people to be closer to Him. People had been waiting and waiting for this rescuer, and finally, it was time for God's promise to come true. When God gave the world the gift of His Son, Jesus, He sent angels to tell people the wonderful news. An angel told Mary that baby Jesus was coming, and then angels sent the shepherds to see Him in the manger. And God announced Jesus' birth in another amazing way. He used a star in the sky, 
like a bright sign for everyone, saying, Jesus is born. In a country far away from where Jesus was born, there were some smart and wise men called Magi that studied the stars. These Magi saw the bright star high in the sky and they got excited. They knew about God's long ago promise to send a rescuer king. And the star meant the king was born. Do you know who that king was? It's Jesus. The wise men wanted to meet Jesus and worship him with special gifts. And so they packed up everything they needed on their camels and started off on a long journey to find Jesus. They followed the star in the sky and it led them to Mary and Joseph's house in Bethlehem. Now the Magi had traveled so far and so long that Jesus wasn't a little baby anymore. He was probably about two years old. When the Magi saw Jesus, they knew they had found the new king, and they bowed down low and worshipped him. Then they opened their boxes filled with treasures of gold, frankincense, and myrrh. They gave Jesus these expensive and valuable gifts, their best gifts, because they knew he was the king God had promised to send. So the star that you gave me reminds us of the star that the wise men followed to find Jesus. Exactly. The Magi knew the star was a sign from God that the Messiah, God's promised king, had been born. And the Magi really wanted to see Jesus and worship him. I would too. And I'd worship him with singing, You are my king, Jesus, you are my king. Wow, Heather, that was great. The Magi worshiped Jesus as the king and rescuer of God's people by giving them gifts that were valuable and precious to them. Very cool. And Christmas is the perfect time for us to worship Jesus too because he's the best gift ever. ever. Jesus is a gift to all of us. We celebrate Christmas to remember when Jesus, God's son, came as a little baby, all because God loved us all so much. That's right. You can read about the true story of Christmas in the Bible. The Bible is God's big story, and God chose the wise men to be a part of it. It's Bible verse time. Let's say our Bible verse about how God gave us his son Jesus. These words are a really important part of God's big story. Let's give it a try. God loved the world so much that he gave his only son. John 3.16 Let's say it again. But this time, let's shout it out in our loudest voices so everyone can hear about the gift of Jesus. Ready? God loved the world so much that he gave his only son, John 3.16. I'm so glad this verse is in your heart. Then you'll always remember that God gave the world his son, Jesus. And that's why we have Christmas. You can find out more about the gift of Jesus when you open the Bible, God's big story. Let's move and sing to worship God. Tell it from the mountain top. 